right, welcome back everybody. Aesop Grimm here with episode two of our Subnautica Chronicle. I just started my countdown timer for 30 minutes. So um, I went out and got food and water. I also grabbed some quartz to make uh, glass. So I made two glass for something that I'm trying to, let's see, I'll show you. I want this. So we're gonna need a silver ore. I've already got the two glass, but uh, for right now, we're going to make this computer chip. And then we're going to come down here and make a habitat builder. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Okay, uh, copper wire and a wiring kit, so I can make copper wire. But I need two silver ore, and I need a third silver ore for the O2 tank as well. I want to make the O2 tank and the compass. So we are out looking for silver ore, which means we're looking for sandstone. Two of three on the mobile vehicle bay, which is what gives us the ability to make uh, a sea moth. silver uh oh okay we got a we mostly got away from him sandstone I don't think so oh we got another radio message lead oh she also gave a warning that there's continued degradation of uh of the Aurora's drive core. There's a second silver. Lead. A common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by a mental asphyxiation. Oxygen. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to get out of here. Three seconds. Oh, he's not going up. <laughs> oh my gosh. That might be the closest I've ever come to dying without actually dying. I thought I activated this thing. Yeah, it didn't activate. I'm, oh man, I'm glad I noticed our guy wasn't moving forward. Yeah, because we would have lost this silver that I really needed. <laughs> okay, okay. Heading back for um, this radio message. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay. 
Uh, that's going to show up. Hold on, let's clear this stuff out. I hate having this stack up on me. Data downloads, codes and clues, life pod six. Well, two things that we notice right away. Three things, really. Bottom of the ocean. Broken uh, ladder handle. Probably from percussive force because metal flange is sticking out. So we'll find you six when we find you. But we kind of already know the answer on that. Um... Unequip this and I need the two glass. I capacity O2 tank, okay. Sweet. That's very helpful for us. Let's see, I should be able to make one bottle of bleach. Okay, now what are we after next? Mm, maybe this. I almost, honestly though, I almost never use these. Uh... don't have the ingredients on that okay so the next thing that we need to do now I think is make a temporary storage facility yeah something simple doesn't have to be fancy at all so basically I like to use an X compartment put it right outside Maybe back here. Put it right outside the life pod. Oh. Uh, right here. Uh, we need titanium. Okay. So, salvage. telling you that sand shark I don't think he's supposed to be up here here's some metal salvage down okay now I need uh, I'm gonna need quartz cuz uh, we must be close to a heat source uh, that's a thermal vent a geyser exploding I think
Okay, here we go. Now I need a solar panel, two quartz, two titanium. I also need to continue keeping my eyes out for salvage because I'm low on titanium. It's also going to cost me my copper ore. Okay, two more. Oh, one more. They don't turn very fast, so I notice if you actually fly through their... Oh, that's not good. If you fly through their axie and they have to turn around and chase you, you can gain enough distance between them before they're fully turned around and pursuing you again that you'll avoid um, avoid the hit. Sea glide. Uh, there it is. There it is. Looks like we're gonna have an eclipse. Okay, if I put you right on, I know you liked it there somewhere. Is that too far? Survivor, you have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Let me see if this works. Ah, it did. It did. Okay. Power restored. All primary systems applied. I like these wall lockers right here. Cheap and efficient when it comes to space. Uh, not, this stuff doesn't have to be perfect. Here, we'll start with two lockers. Uh, I'll call this one titanium. Call this one um, precious metal. Actually, call and this this heavy metal. All right, heavy metal, precious metal. Do we have enough for another? Yeah. Yeah. Make two more then. This will be um, organics and Well, maybe just call it organic. Uh, I can't think of what to put here for right now, so let's open this. Uh, this is heavy metal, and this is precious metal. 
and uh, call that good. Come up here and get this radio message. This is Avery Quinn, trading ship Sunbeam. Yes. Or do you read? Ah, uh, we do read. Not on the vacuum. These Altera ships, they run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. <laughs> Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Yes, oh, we are here. <laughs> I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's going to have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long-range scans pick up in the meantime. Okay. What's our time looking like? We got 14 minutes left. So, what is it that I'm working on? Well, we need to get that. Oh, C Glide, that's right. I need a battery, a lubricant, copper wire, and titanium. So, I need two copper, three copper. Okay, three copper and uh, creep seed vine. Yes. Okay. Uh, but it's night time. So. Didn't see what. Must have been this, the rabbit ray. Let's see if we can get him scanned. Come on. Okay, what I'm going to do, guys, this is one of the benefits of recording locally instead of streaming, which I want to do both because I need to start practicing streaming, but um, I'm recording locally right now. What I'm Local going to do... readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. How are we going to survive? I always wondered that. How do we survive a quantum detonation from this range? But at any rate, I'm going to put you guys on pause until the morning comes up. And I'll take care of food and water uh, while we're waiting for that to happen. So see you guys in a little bit. Okay, welcome back, guys. Get our timer going. Pause my timer. Okay. So the sun's just now rising. And we'll head out. To get uh, creep vine seed clusters. There we go. That'll take care of the lubricant. get one yes okay ah, he didn't like that I got that close oh wow oof Um, off we go. What else did we need for the Sea Glide? Lubricant. Titanium. Uh, battery. Co so three copper. Okay. And, uh, let's make the lubricant. Essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Okay. We got titanium in here. I think it said all I needed one. Yeah. 
Okay. Let's swim through this tunnel thing and see what kind of uh, copper ore we can come out with. I know it's mostly quartz in here. Uh, where are you, Flare? Titanium. I think that was a copper. Titanium. Titanium. Uh, that was a copper, so we got two. Two copper. wire and the battery okay now I need to retrieve my lubricant nice we increase your effective exploration range for your safety please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Okay, Mom. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's go. I guess now is the time that I need to start exploring our environment and looking at um, local, what I would call, I guess, the safe shallows wrecks. check all that stuff out need to be scanning any anything that we find in supply boxes Now that we have storage, I can kind of afford to pick up anything and everything. I'll avoid the wreckage though, because we we should come by a lot of titanium pretty naturally. Got to head back for a radio message. I mean, not only is that, like, obviously a hot mic violation, but he's telling his own crew that. You, you, sh you should just keep some of those things to yourself. <laughs> this is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? <laughs> they didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. 
Signal location uploaded to PDA. Now, could this be the grim looking snake thing that he's talking about? I don't really know. I never thought of that until just just now. That maybe that's what he perceives as a grim looking snake thing. They do have kind of a snake like body. Alright, well let's go see what we can find out about Ozzy. Obviously he's not in a good position here. Stranded near a cave system and under attack. So that's that's the big thing right there. That that I mean that sounds current. Like this is currently happening. He's under attack. <laughs> Looks like it's seen safe right now. I don't see anything else to grab out here. Scan the sea moth. So I headed back home. Um, and we're supposed to be looking at local area wrecks. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? Well, number one, I haven't been playing our PDAs. Uh, let's see, Aurora Survivors, Life, Life Pod 3. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Okay. So... I happen to know that there's a wreckage out here by Life Pod 3 that uh, I need to explore. And I was supposed to do that while I was out there, you know, so it would kind of fit in a role playing way. Because our guy's not supposed to really know of that wreck. Oh. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. That's a nuclear wind. <laughs> oh, you can hear the clicking. I don't know if you would actually hear that. Alright. Uh, let's see, we need... This, 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 and this. Yep. There we go. All right. Uh, drink that. Alright, 
there's our timer. So, uh, what I'll do... ...is create a save point. And then what I'm gonna do off-screen is I'm gonna head out here to Life Pod 3. Because I have to search around for it. I don't know. Sometimes that takes me a while. But once I locate the wreck, that's where episode three will pick up. So just to let you know, that's all I'm doing is I'm just headed out there. As soon as I end this recording, I'll head out there. I'll find the wreck. I'll create a save point. And then episode three will begin right there. But uh, again, I am Aesop Grimm. And thank you for coming by the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where this story continues. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.